Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 3rd of August. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a bit of a look at um, this particular move up through here and then we're also going to uh, have a look at this particular move here where we're currently short at the moment. This move up through here, um, I, I think that it can be counted in many different ways um, and that's just what I wanted to go through to today and have a bit of a look at. So it's possible to count up through here as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 for 1 here, ABC for 2 here, up for 3 here, back for 4 here and then up for 5 here for wave 1. If that's the case then our pullback is at 61.8% down at the uh, 10,000 uh, um, point move here. So um, the first thing we need though um, along, along this journey is we need to see five waves in this particular move down through here and so far we've got three waves. Uh, we're likely to see five and um, the other counts that I have in here would also uh, work with those five waves there. So I just wanted to point this one out to start with, okay? So the next move uh, here is this move here where we include this little spike here down the low on the low here so one and two here and then one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave the fourth wave here and then five waves up for wave one here an a wave here and then all of this as a b wave in here and then five waves down for a c wave here that will take us down to eleven thousand five hundred so in a nutshell, I've got two counts that will take us down to this 11,500 area through here. So the other move I've got is this wave three at the top here. So to finish this one off here, we just need five waves in here. Currently we have three, so we just need uh, four and four and five to finish this off uh, lower down through here. So the other one is this wave three here. So if we've got wave three here, then and we get five waves down here, well then we're going to get an A, B, C after that and another five down. So let's just check that out. So we've got wave three, wave B or wave one uh, in this in this instance here. So this move here, um, let's just go into this a little bit here. Let's just say, let's just work this a little bit. We'll have a look at this in detail because we're short here at the moment, but I just want to shoot the breeze here for a second. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five here. So if we get five waves here and we've got wave three up here, well, then we can call that wave A and then we'll be coming back for wave B, which will take us back to the 50-60% retracement level, and then wave C down here. So I think it's okay to look at these sorts of things, and then we can um, just eliminate them one by one. Now, there may be another little move in here first to finish this wave 3 off, but then wave 4 and wave 5 here. That will take us down to the 12,000 area here, maybe a tad lower. And then we would see an A and a B and a C wave back up here. So that would take us back to the 50-60% retracement level or somewhere in that space. Let's just take it from the 12,000 here just to start with and we can make adjustments as we see fit. And that would be that space up there for that. So in a nutshell, we would be looking for wave B here. And because we get five waves here in wave A here, that means we're going to get another five waves over here for, um, for wave C or four here. So it could be this, if we get five here, then, then we just need to monitor this situation here if we get that in three. But uh, we'll also be trading probably long at that point as well. And the other point for this too is that this could also be wave two sitting down through here as well because of the other count that we have uh, here for this. So 
Um, look, I think what all we can do is is uh, we've got short trades on and we'll just stay with those. Uh, we've taken part profit in this area through here because from this low here to this high here, that's, um, that's the 61.8% where it's got support here at the moment. So we'll just see how that uh, plays out here. And we're going to have a look at this in a bit of detail through here as well. Um, so yeah, look, um, in just to cap this off here, if we get five waves down to 12,000, then we can expect a bounce that could take us back to 40%, 50%, 61.8%, just depending on the sentiment and what news is happening uh, and affecting the uh, the euro uh, market. And then we would be looking for another five waves down here. So even though we've got, even though I've got these three counts that I'm sort of tracking, uh, I think it's okay. They're okay just to stay there for for a while, and we can just we can just stay in this degree of structure here. All right. So we're short at the moment. When this five ways finishes here, we'll look for long trades that can take us up through the A, the B, and the C, and then we'll just be cautious in uh, once these five waves here complete, because this will be five, three, and five waves in those structures. So we can move in on these, and then we'll just get out and wait here until it becomes clear. And if it's clear that it's short, well, then we'll be on this journey down this leg through here. So I'll just see what I've done on the intraday charts here. Um, nothing on the hour. I'll just go to the 15 minute charts here. So, okay, this is where we've got to trade. So this is important. So I think if we can just start from the top here for a moment, I'll just get in a bit more data. Okay, so first of all, I just want to go back over and just count this structure that we've got here. So the way that I've counted this is uh, down for one here, ABC for two, down for three to this point, wave four here. Wave two was complicated, making wave four simple. And then the last five waves down uh, through here to make wave one, ABC for two here. And then looking at this wave three like this here in terms of uh, wave one can actually come over to here for that. And that leaves us with an A and a B and a C here, and also the one, two, three, four, and five here for that. So that's cool. And we'll short up here. So we've taken part profit here. You can take some more profit here if you like. And I was looking at this here as an A wave here, then an A and a B wave here, then five waves down for the C wave here for wave B. And then we've got five waves up here for wave four. So that's where I've got my wave four here at the moment. I have to say this looks impulsive off the low here for this. Um, this does count as one and two here and three to here and four to here and five to here, a little bit small on the fourth here. Um, so there could be another low here, but uh, it would have to drop below the 61.8% mark here for this. So if we just grab that here, that's a 61.8% mark. So we can gravitate to the 12,250. If the 12,250 becomes the retested resistance, then you know that we're going to be going down lower than that. But otherwise, we'll just look for the A, the B, and the C wave here, and then up here. And we're really looking to go, I'll just, I mean, if I put the ABC here, it just looks a little bit small. Uh, here for this because when we look at this degree here which is one degree smaller this green wave four here this move here is what it is so this one's a degree big bigger so I'd expect it to be 60% bigger than this one here and that just puts the structures as you know you go from one two three five eight uh, 13, 21, 34, 55, and so on. So as you, uh, the further you go away, the closer the 61.8% um, the is, of course. So, um, yeah, so we could look for something that would be at least this size here. So having this little A, B, and C here doesn't really do a lot here for, for this situation. So what we also just need to do here is grab this high here and this low here, and this will also be resistance coming into this space here for this so that may only be wave one and two and three and four and five into that space but that's where the resistance is there so just keep an eye on that with the 12 four um, but all all said and done in the sort of bigger picture here we're looking for 
this uh, ABC pattern here and it's probably that this A is actually going to be sitting up here and then we get a bigger B wave here for this um, as such but I'll just leave it here for the time being I'm just expecting a bigger one that's all for that we'll see how that travels um, and that will take us down into um, well uh, <laughs> we'll see what that is first um, but the five waves first that's what we're looking for so we're tracking five waves down we're looking for a move up to wave four here and then down to 12,000 that's that's how that pans out but this could be anything down here so don't worry about that just yet but once that's finished then we can look for a larger ABC pattern to come back into play here uh, and uh, we'll take it from that point. But we need to track the five waves in this structure here. Once they're completed, then we need to be out at that point. And then we just wait to see if we get a wave four and then a wave five, or we're going to be coming further down. So it's going to be a little bit tricky in this space because wave fours can get a bit tricky. So we'll really need to allow it to mature as much as possible. Looking at the uh, FTSE, the count to the upside can be counted as 1 and 2 here, then 1 and 2 and 3, and A and a B and a C for 4 here, and up for 5, 4, wave 3, and A, B, C for 4 here, and then up for 5 here is wave 1. We had an impulse wave to the downside for wave uh, A here. Wave B has been sideways and complex, so wave B top would come in over here. Even though that this wasn't the top here, this was the top here, uh, we still need to see five waves in this uh, structure here. So let's take a closer look at this particular point here. So if we consider this wave one here, an A wave here, an A and a B, and we need one and two and three and four and five here for wave C here of wave B. So it's a little bit dodgy doing this, but I think it's the best fit that I can see so far with this. Um, just keeping it simple, that is. And but the main point here is looking at uh, five waves down. So we know that uh, let's just come back in here for a second. Let's just grab this low here and this here. So that would bring us back into here as the 61.8%. So if the market dropped below this here, then we would need to look at this and try and interpret it in a corrective pattern here. Um, but our main <clears throat> aim at the moment is that we are short. The levels down through here, the important ones are 5,500, 5,800. The halfway mark between those two is the 5,650. Uh, and we're getting into group two stuff here, so I'll just leave that uh, at this stage. But um, the floor here at 6,000 has been breached. And then this market can move down lower f for this. So just cutting through to the hourly chart here. We've got a couple of trades on uh, here. So we're looking to go short below this one here. We're also looking for a classic trading levels pattern to come in here as a retested resistance. So the market's pulled through here. It's dropped back. It's anyways, it's found the resistance in here and dropped from that point. Um, so looking at this here, and I've just lined this up with the DAX here. So we've got one here and two here, then one and two here, and three here and four here, and looking for five here. So we could also have another little move down into five, eight here. Definitely expect a bounce at eight, at the number eight here. And that can take us back to the 38.2% retracement level. So that here, but we know that the FTSE is a little bit uh, weaker, but it can take us back to um, to this space here. So 38.2% and then down again from that point there. Let me just clean these up through here. That would give us another opportunity to short at this point. At the 6,000 that is. If 
suppose we could use this. So the wave four of one lesser degree here and the 38.2% retracement level, anywhere in that space is where we start looking at it. But um, as it matures, this structure matures, we'll be able to identify it a little bit easier. Okay, I'll leave it uh, at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.